Hello everyone, welcome to my kitchen. Um, today I'm going to show you how I wire canvases. Um, a little disclaimer, I honestly don't know how anyone else does it. This is just how I do it. And this is how I've always done it for years and years and years. Um, when I do a painting, I get the canvas that wraps around the side and I always paint the sides. That way you don't have to worry about getting a frame if you don't want. Um, I just don't like messing with them because I take these to a lot of craft shows and I just really don't have room to do that. So this is just, just makes my life a little more simple. So you will need, this is some picture wire. I got it at Walmart for like less than $2. Um, this kind says it can hold up to 30 pounds, which is way, way more strong <laughs> than you need for this tiny little canvas. It's so light. It's like, I don't know, two pounds. But I just get this because then I don't have to have another weight for if I have, happen to have a stronger painting. So it'll work just as well. Um, Okay, so I also have a staple gun and some wire cutters and hammer. So, what you need to do, what you need to do is turn it over and about not halfway down. I don't know why a lot of people do that. They'll put, they'll attach the wire halfway down and then whenever it hangs, it kind of hangs away from the wall at the top and that, that doesn't make any sense. So, you're going to go about, I don't know, what is this? Like one third of the way down. It doesn't have to be real exact, but about a third down from the top is the imaginary line that we're going to do. So I take the wire and I'm just going to uh, just pretend right there That's that looks like a good place. And I'm just going to put a couple staples in. Yeah, I'll do three. So this staple gun kind of stinks, so it doesn't push them down the whole way. So that's why I have a, a hammer and I'm just going to pound them down the rest of the way. Ah. Okay. So I bend this wire over and I'm going to wrap it around so it doesn't stick out and it won't move or anything. Okay. Now pull it to the other side and you got to leave leave a little bit. Uh, you know, you don't want to pull it so tight. Okay, so it's about straight across there. Just going to put a few more staples here. it down. Now I'm going to cut the rest off here. And just wind it around the other one. Now you might want to put some sort of tape around this because it will jab you in the finger. I don't usually do that. I must be lazy. I don't know. So I, I, don't, I just don't do it. So there you go. It'll hang nicely just like that. Voila. <laughs> so um, thanks for hanging out with me in my kitchen today. Let me know if you have any things you would like to uh, for me to show you if I know how to do them. If I don't, you'll just have to look on YouTube for it. Okay, I'm a dork. Uh, talk to you later. Bye.